sticking with us for 13 News Now at Noon. The Virginia African American Cultural Center is hosting its fifth annual Community Fall Festival. And here now to talk more about this and a basketball court renovation special ceremony happening with this event. We have Dr. Amelia Ross Hammond, Virginia Beach City Council member, and Crystal Sessoms. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Excited to talk about this. Before we dive into the event itself, uh, Dr. Ross Hammond, tell us a little bit about the actual center for people to just be aware of what's going on with VAACC? Well, in a nutshell, one of the things, a vision we had because of all the different unrest and so forth, mm. our vision is to create a safe space where we can share about interpreting, informing people, educating the public about the contributions black people did for this commonwealth. And it's important that we bring pride for our young people. So one of the things, even though we haven't put up the building yet, we do a lot of interactive programs. We collaborate with Virginia Wesleyan, having an African American, uh, African studies mm -hmm. course. We also do other areas, ODU, we did a diversity, and we have two significant um, programs that we do. One of them actually is a project. We do the golf tournament, which we came by for you to see, yeah. and it went well. We had 96 golfers out there wow. okay. on behalf and helping us sponsor to raise funds. And now it's the opportunity for the um, annual cultural festival. Yeah, but this one is very special to us. Okay. Uh, well, yes, and we need to talk about why. I yes. understand that there's a big ribbon-cutting ceremony. Crystal, if you want to tell us a bit about what's going to be happening this weekend. Yes, and so we have all kinds of performances. It's going to be hosted by comedians Quincy Carr and Gina G. We have um, performances from B. Michelle, D. Polite and Phenomenal Sounds, Vinnie Knight and the Jazz Writers. We have African drummers coming. Tidewater Africa Cultural Alliance is going to be there. Uh, arts and crafts, games for kids, bounce houses, food trucks, and so it's going to be a great celebration of African American history, culture, and community. But we are most excited about the ribbon cutting, right, yeah. Dr. Ross Hammond? Yes. A year ago, when something in the water came into town, mm -hmm. one of his Pharrell's big thing is trying to give back to the community, and he bring other partners with him. So he brought Nike, they brought NBA, mm -hmm. and different organization shared what they would like. We have an old, kind of rusty basketball court. Mm -hmm. And Nike said, we'll do it. We'll renovate this, because kids come and use it. NBA said, no, we're going to do it. Wow. And they did. They sent me $105,000. Wow. We've renovated the courts. And we got Hamilton Glass, one of the uh, renowned muralists from Richmond. We did like an RFP and he won. So he's done all the murals, all the benches. Wow. And then the NBA has been following us in partnership with Something in the Water for this. So we're really excited to cut the ribbon. The mayor, several other elected officials are going to come out. And I said it would be so nice for us to have some basketballs, you know, from Amazon to give away. Yeah. Last weekend, FedEx stopped at my house with 50 <gasps> basketballs from the NBA to give out to. So whoever's there between 1.30 and 2, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity, and it has their logo oh, on it as well. That. Oh, this is going to be so big. Make sure you come out to this event. Again, it's Saturday from noon to 5 at the site of the Virginia African American Cultural Center. Make sure you check this out. This is so cool. You can just head to their website for more information. But it is free and open to the public. It is. The entire event. So make sure you support. Ladies, so great to see you. It's good to good see, to see you, see you again. Absolutely. And thanks for always supporting us. Thank you.